Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're here to give you insights and information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tapestry Expansion Plans and Ploys um, which is designed by Jamie Stegmeyer. It comes from Stonemeyer Games um, and yes you need the base game Tapestry to play this, you can't play it on its own. It's for 1-5 to five players, ages 12 plus and it's supposed to take 90 to 120 minutes. So Tapestry is the rather interesting um, civilization game that came out last year um, and many people loved it, many people were not sure, or did not like it, so I'm very curious to see what the expansion is going to bring to the game. So first off, it's a very small box, teeny teeny tiny, it will not be fitting in your regular box so don't know where you're supposed to put this one. Um, it's got some beautiful art again by Andrew Bosley, um, really really pretty stuff, you can, you can kind of get it, this feeling. Um, very similar to the original tapestry. Um, let's have a quick look at the back. Okay, keeping it nice and simple. Um, so there are going to be new landmark miniatures. Hurrah, because they're probably the most standout feature, I think, of tapestry. Um, there will be some more civilization mats. Brilliant. Some new tapestry cards. Some more space tiles. Five landmark cards. I'm supposed to go with the landmarks. And then 12 landmark tokens. Cool, so let's have a go inside and we'll motor our way through here to tell you what kind of stuff you can expect to find in the box. All right then, so first things first. Oh, sorry, it's that really lovely rule book paper. Um, and yet again, it is like very, very short rule book. <laughs> this is a choose from variety of new civilizations, tells you what to do, what they do, new tiebreaker. Sorry, I want to read that. Replacing the original tiebreaker rule, the new tiebreaker is the player with the tallest landmark miniature in their capital city. Interesting, some setup changes and civilization adjustments, which are marked here, um, which is really, really good. No adjustments made. Yeah, because there was a lot of questions about how balanced some of the different um, civilizations were. So this is the Ottoman and the Shadow Empire. So they, get, they have more pages, their scenarios, well, a number of scenarios, which is kind of nice, isn't it? um four scenarios oh five so five scenarios for um you solo loving board gamers out there okay so we've got some punchy outy things um whenever you okay so space tiles obviously and you can often place these tokens on the advancement track during setup and remove them as the corresponding landmarks are gained to show that those landmarks are no longer available okay they're very nice pictures i don't know why that art on those um reminds me of futurama Something about it does those buildings. Maybe I'm crazy. And they're the same on the other side. Okay. We have a muslin bag. Curious. Cool. Right. And as we know with Stonemaier games, they, don't always, they always do a good insert. This is no exception. So we've got the, the clear plastic lids. And then we have the civilization card. As always, these feel amazing. Oh, there are spies, advisors, treasure hunters, infiltrators, recyclers. That's nice. Also, we get tinkerers. Love a good tinkerer. Aliens. <laughs> okay. So that just been that. Utilitarians, islanders, and some river folk. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. The art on these is beautiful, isn't it? The big ones. Um, as always, these are the lovely nice paper just like the others this should fit in perfectly well with the original set um excellent oh they do smell kind of good all right now next step well we have to look at the new buildings right because yeah buildings so this one definitely feels bigger than some of the older ones we'll go down of course i don't know their names yet although i probably could look them up this one kind of reminds me of the the tall one in the in the base game there's a couple of them that are black and white, I think, that look similar. That's kind of cool. This one has like greenery growing around it. Yet again, these are kind of the same quality as our previous um, buildings and tapestry. So they're, they're lovely and solid. And I love the fact they're painted. You know, having painted miniatures come to your house, I think, is always a nice touch. So yeah. Cool. I'll keep going. Here we go. I wonder will these have any special rules or anything, or is it just they're going to they're gonna appear places? It looks like a shop. It's got a veranda. Okay, and one more with more green things. Oh, that's very cool. It's like an outdoor seating area. Cool, no? I like that one. And last but not least, it's a 
rectangle and it's got a cube on it. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so the only thing left in this box is some cards. And of course, they come with one of these little tabs because I love those little tabs. There we go. Ah yes, the crack of cellophane. So these look like almost like blueprint cards, don't they? The ones on the back do anyway. Now, do, do, do. so this the ones here at the back are blueprints. So we'll have a look at these first. So an urban farm. At the end of your turn, if you have at least six in your supply game, there's landmark. Cool. So these are the new landmarks that were over there. Now I can name you. There was an urban farm, a digital studio. Oh, a game store. That's what it was supposed to be. Okay, I get it. All right then. Oop. And then obviously these are the the different ones for the different areas, the tapestry cards. Manifest Destiny, well that's fair. Entertain the masses, okay. That's that is cool. Super. Why is it with the tanks? I do love a good tank. Stolen plans. So yeah, there's a, a, a number of these to add in, which is nice. It should just give more variety. And then trailblazers. Hucksters, equalizers, so there's just some kind of adjustment cards in place. Yeah. Oh, these are for the automata, which makes sense. Excellent. So I think that's all the cards, which is weird because they've given me another slot for cards. Yeah, nothing else under it. Cool. So that's absolutely everything that was in the box. You witnessed it. I do like that the cards just sit here on top of the buildings um, nice and safely. So I also have to wonder what the bag is about. I wonder if that's for taking tiles when you're exploring and placing them out or something like that, which would be a nice little touch. So everything goes back into this teeny tiny box. There's quite a bit in the teeny tiny box. What do you guys think? Yeah, there's definitely a good bit. There's a number of buildings, there's some new cards um, and all sorts of excitement really. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed. That's a nice looking expansion. Um, so yeah, my name's Antoinette. This has been Board Game Inquisition and we've unblocked Unboxed. <laughs> We've unboxed Tapestry Plans Employees. Um, is it something you'd be interested in playing or trying out? Um, so if you like what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel and tune in again for like more unboxing videos, reviews and all other sorts of board game content I've put out. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.